this video, I'm going to do a lick breakdown slash analysis of Lee Morgan's phrase in his original composition titled Hocus Pocus. I actually got hip to this recording through a great musician that I follow on Instagram. His name is Nicholas Payton. He recently has been posting his musical influences and this was one of them. I hope he does more of it because it's great. Uh, it's called hashtag Panic Selects. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, that's the hashtag. And if you're not following him already, please go ahead and follow him on Instagram. Instagram because it's great stuff it's great insight the reason why this leak stands out to me is because of Lee Morgan's use of tension and release harmonically and then he just ties it all together real slick and smooth like with his voice leading from one chord to the next so what we're gonna do is simply identify each and every note in this phrase so our first note here is a G sharp and then we got a C a F sharp E a D and we have this B flat here if we rearrange these as a scale this is what we'll get To me, when I hear it and when I see it especially, it seems like he's using the whole tone scale to create tension. Now let's dig a little bit deeper to see how this line is actually structured. To start off, let's ignore the first three notes of this phrase. Later in the video, I'm gonna analyze and explain to you how I believe these three notes function. But until then, let's highlight the notes that come on the downbeats of the phrases. So we got G sharp here, we got F sharp, E, D, and C. And the reason why I highlighted them is because as improvisers, these downbeats help us outline the changes. So when we only include the downbeats, this is what the line will look like. And this gives us our bare bones structure of the line. Here's what it looks like and here's what it sounds like. Lee Morgan does a few things to fill out this structure and give the line forward momentum. One of the things that he does is he plays descending thirds in the whole tone scale. Another way that he creates forward momentum is by playing this very tasty turn on beat three in true Lee Morgan fashion. Lastly, what makes this line really great is how he resolves all this tension from using the C whole tone scale. He resolves it by very smooth voice leading from the seventh of D, D7, down a half step to the third of G major seven. But not only that, he doesn't stop there. To keep the momentum going, he adds in a lower neighboring tone that's a half step below this B right here. So he adds in a B flat. As you learn more solos and licks, you notice this shape pretty often. It's called a chromatic enclosure. So what this chromatic enclosure means is that you're gonna have a target note and then you're gonna approach it from a half step above and a half step below before you hit this target. So you remember those three notes that I, I said that I was going to ignore? Let's talk about those notes now. Now these three notes I kind of hear as a pickup to this G sharp here. I'm going to analyze it in a different way. And how I'm going to analyze it is by intervals, the intervals in between each note. So actually let's cancel out that G sharp and call it A flat. From this note to C, I really hear it as a major third. Then from C to F sharp, that's a tritone. And then from F sharp to G sharp is a major second. Now, since this shape is kind of unique and it's hard for me to hear and kind of get under my fingers, the first thing I would do is practice this, these four notes in all 12 keys. After I practice this shape in all 12 keys, probably the next thing I would do is to apply it to a scale. Apply the generic intervals to each and every scale degree from one all the way to seven. Hopefully you enjoyed this lick breakdown and analysis that I did. And if you did, please go ahead and give me a like on this video just to tell me if I should do more of these. Guys, we're 10K strong on this channel. So if you're new and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and please watch all my videos that are helpful to you. I just wanna say thank you to everybody for watching and I appreciate you all. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.